Good morning and welcome, everyone. Thank you for taking time out and joining us today for, the, for today's breakout section, Practical Tips on Setting Up and Succeeding in the GBA. I'm Louis Chen. I will be your moderator for this section, which will focus on a number of overseas companies that have found a home from home in Hong Kong and that are now successfully making inroads into the dynamic GBA market. Just a reminder before we proceed, this section is mainly for overseas companies in Hong Kong that are looking, for, they are looking to enter the GBA market. If the success stories of Hong Kong SMEs that are already active in the region are more relevant to you, please feel free to click the link at the bottom of the page and switch to the section live streaming from Shenzhen. Now, while it is not difficult to see the immense potential of the GBA, the region's unique combination, one country, two systems, and three jurisdictions, has been viewed as disconcerting by some in the international business community. Our aim here today is to discuss a number of those unique opportunities and challenges, while also learning from our distinguished speakers and panelists as to how they are leveraging Hong Kong's advantages in order to grow their business in the region. Now, just before we begin, a few rules of engagement. Today's webinar will take the form of a keynote presentation and a benchmark address, followed by a three-way panel discussion. We are going to conduct this in English and without simultaneous interpretation. If you have any questions for our speakers and panelists, please feel free to submit them using the Q&A function on your control panel. I will then ask them on your behalf during the Q&A section at the end of the webinar. Now, without further ado, let's begin proceeding by welcoming Dr. Prakshik Lau, HKDDC's Deputy Executive Director. Today, he is going to introduce the Council's new GoGBA one-stop platform and the GoGBA Center, both of which offer support to any overseas company with a Hong Kong base looking to expand into the GBA market. Dr. Lau, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you, Luis. Um, and thank you, everyone. On behalf of uh, HKTDC, uh, let me welcome you to this uh, seminar. And, uh, and uh, thank you for uh, being with us. Um, so today, uh, the focus is on the GBA. Uh, and this has been the strategic focus for HKTDC uh, for many years. And, uh, and um, later, our distinguished speakers, uh, I'm sure, will uh, introduce to you more about how the opportunities and how they see the GBA opportunities. Uh, what I see is uh, 11 uh, vibrant world-class cities in these uh, clusters uh, and uh, a lot of uh, business opportunities. And Hong Kong definitely can play a very unique role in this uh, GBA development. I want to spend some time to introduce to you GoGBA in slightly more detail. Uh, the concept is to make it a one-stop uh, shop, one-stop platform to help uh, Hong Kong businesses to venture into the GBA. It is anchored by an app, uh, uh, which is a WeChat mini program. So it's within the WeChat uh, platform. And I encourage all of you to, to access, to, to, to try it out. Uh, and the, the key message here is we want to make it into a user-friendly uh, uh, toolkit to help uh, businesses uh, in many different areas, not just uh, information, but uh, also utilities. I will explain a little bit more in the next page. So the content-wise, our team has spent the last few months working really hard, you know, I can tell you, they really work very hard and uh, my appreciation and thanks go to them to dig out many different sources of information 
and consolidate them into our GoGBA platform. So what you saw just now, if you, if you actually uh, upload it into the, the GoGBA mini program, this, this, is, this is the whole uh, interface. The top part of this interface, you will see a number counter. This is actually the 183 days tax-free uh, limit for Hong Kongers to visit mainland China without getting tax, right? And the calculation of it uh, is actually very important to many Hong Kong SMEs. So what they, uh, what they told us is uh, you know, they may not have the secretaries to uh, calculate the number of days for them uh, of uh, entering into China. Uh, and, and this will automatically calculate for them if they grant us the location access. Uh, if they do not want to grant us the location access, they can manually enter their trips to China as well, and this will also count and will remind them uh, once they reach the number of days. Then at the bottom row, you see uh, other utilities. Uh, health utilities are very important now, uh, you know, the COVID-19 uh, quarantine requirements, etc., and also the number of cases in the location that you want to visit, for example, uh, will be useful information. There are also maps, there are weather, weather uh, utility, there are transport utility. Uh, this is important too, you know, how to get to the GPA using the different models, such as ferries, flights, train, etc. And uh, you can search the latest information uh, in this part. Then at the bottom part of that uh, mini program, there are a lot of uh, policies and uh, incentives information. Uh, this is very important because Often the SME claim that there are too much information. So we need to uh, really uh, tidy up the information, really give them the most relevant information. And so they can also search by province, region, and by sector. So that you know, it's customized for their need and, and not, you know, all, they don't have to screen through everything to get to the information that they want. And uh, there are a lot of incentives currently offered by local governments, including even local associations in the GBA, which I think will benefit uh, the Hong Kong businesses. Uh, that's why you know, we, we do this uh, mini program. And a very important point I want to point out is our mini program is also tailored for international business community. You know, so so you know, it's, it's not only for the Cantonese speaking Hong Kong businesses. Uh, and that's why you know, we we particularly, we particularly think the Hong Kong uh, international business community need this even more uh, because, you know, for example, they want to know the basic emergency numbers, uh, the, late, the nearby clinics, uh, or, you know, the, the police uh, emergency numbers. All this will be in, in this app uh, as they travel into the GBA. Uh, then you remember that uh, the chief executive also helped us to uh, unveil our new GBA center in Shenzhen. In addition, we actually have signed the MOUs, which are with uh, Zhongshan, Nansang, uh, Hengqing, Dongguan, Shanghai, uh, to be the touch point for Hong Kong businesses. If they are in those locations, they can go there to uh, assess TDC support. So this is therefore making the, the, the GBA support uh, very comprehensive. We will obviously have a series of uh, research information, workshop, uh, business advisory services, and uh, SME programs to, uh, to uh, complement uh, what we uh, are offering as part of this Go GBA initiative. Then at the end of this year, I will pre uh, give a, a preview that uh, uh, December, we are going to do a mega campaign in uh, Guangzhou uh, called Guangdong Hong Kong uh, Cooperation Week. And this will cover all the services sector uh, from Hong Kong uh, to, how to how they can find businesses and collaborate with uh, mainland uh, partners. And concurrently, we will have another session for products in Shenzhen, uh, so uh, Shik Hong Kong. And this will showcase about 100 Hong Kong brands uh, using an O2O format uh, to, to, uh, at, uh, to introduce the Hong Kong brands to the GBA consumers. 
So uh, that's uh, my brief introduction on uh, the Go GPA. Uh, I encourage uh, all of you to fully utilize uh, the HKTDC's support uh, when, uh, when you enter into businesses in uh, the GBA and uh, make sure that uh, you download our uh, Go GBA mini program. You enter into the Go GBA mini program and try it out and give us feedback to further improve it because we will further upgrade and improve uh, that program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Dr. Lam. Next up, we are honored to go over live to Mr. Chen Yuhua, the Deputy Director General of the Department of Commerce of Guangdong Province. He is going to update us with regard to the business incentives on offer to Hong Kong and overseas companies keen on developing their operation within the GBA. Mr. Chen, please share the good news. Dear Dr. Patrick Law, dear friends in Hong Kong, good morning everyone. I'm pleased to join today's video conference. First of all, on behalf of the Department of Commerce of Guangdong Province, I would like to extend our warm congratulations to the launch of the GBA One Stop Platform, Hong Kong PPC GBA Center and the successful holding of this form. We believe that the one-stop platform at Hong Kong PBC GBA Center will provide all kinds of quality services to enterprises from all over the world and fully support them to develop their business in GBA area. Our department will continue to actively support and cooperate with Hong Kong PBC. I would also like to express my heartfelt thanks to our friends in business sectors from all over the world for their long-term concerns and support for the development of Guangdong and the GBA. Today, I would like to take these opportunities to brief you on Guangdong's economic and social development. In particular, the current achievement and business opportunities in the development of Guangdong Hong Kong Macau GBA. The development of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau GBA is a major national strategy personal plan deployed and promoted by President Xi Jinping. It is a major platform for China to further deepen reform and open up, accelerate high quality development and participate in international economic and technological cooperation at a higher level. In 2019, the State Council officially announced the outline of the development plan for the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau GBA. The Guangdong Hong Kong Macau GBA includes Hong Kong, Macau, and nine other cities of the Pearl River Delta in Guangdong Province, with a total land area of 56,000 square kilometers and a population of about 78 million. It is one of the most dynamic, open, and internationalized regions in China and plays an important strategic role in the overall development of our country. The GBA has a solid economic foundation and a strong industrial system, a vibrant innovation, economy, and a strong capacity in radiating development. In 2020, the GDP of the GBA reached 11.5 trillion RMB yuan, equal to 1.67 trillion US dollars making it a huge regional economic internet whose economic aggregate is higher than that of Canada, which ranks the nice in the world. In 2020, Guangdong's GDP will exceed 11 trillion RMB yuan, around 1.61 trillion US dollars, accounting for one-tenth of the country's total, ranking first in China for the past 32 consecutive years, Total imports and exports exceed 7 trillion yuan, accounting for nearly a quarter of the country's total. Actual utilization of foreign direct investment reached 162 trillion yuan, with an annual increase of 6.5% year on year, accounting for nearly one sixth of the country's total, reaching a record high. At the same time, the GBA has advanced manufacturing industry and modern services industry, which complement and coordinate each other. GBA is the world's important manufacturing industrial base 
the Center for International Finance Shipping, as well as Tourism and Leisure Entertainment. It has more than 300 distinct industrial clusters with $7 trillion industry clusters such as electronic information, green petrochemical, smart appliances, and advanced materials. GBA gathered more than 56,000 state-level high-tech enterprises and couples of world-class 100 universities. Many national-level scientific equipments and 50 national key laboratories are based here. Events diverse in research and development expenditure, regional innovation ability, among effective patents, PCT international patent applications as well. It has high-tech companies such as Huawei, EZT, Navy, and Tencent. It has also established a global transportation network with the world's largest group of seaports and airports. In recent years, Guangdong has strengthened resources integration with Hong Kong and Macau, complemented each other's strengths and coordinate measures to promote high-quality development of the GBA. We have significantly enhanced our comprehensive strengths and foster cooperation more extensively. So far, several important achievements have been made in building the GBA into a world-class Bay Area and city cluster. First, the concentration of innovation resources in Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau is accelerating. The level of opening up and sharing is improving the influence of the GBA as an international science and technology innovation center is enhanced. Second, the modernized transportation system has been continuously improved. The transportation within the three regions have become more efficient. The one-hour living circle in the GBA has been formed. Third, the convergence of the rules and mechanism has been deepened. And the integration of the three markets has been significantly enhanced. And the cross-border flow of factors has become more convenient and efficient. Fourth, cooperation in employment, education, medical care, and other areas concerning people's neighborhood has used fruitful results. It has more than more convenient for Hong Kong and Macau residents to come to Guangdong for development, a quality life circle that is suitable for living, working, and traveling has been formed. Fifth, we will work together to develop a major cooperation platforms in Shenzhen, Qianghai, Guangzhou, Nansang, and Zhuhai, Hengjing which will deliver a large number of institutional innovations and effectively expand the development of space of Hong Kong and Macau. Six, the concentration of the Shenzhen pilot demonstration zone enjoys a good beginning. Guangzhou stands up efforts to revitalize its own city style. We will fully in a niche the synergistic effect of the two zones and the two cities. Ladies and gentlemen, at the celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Shenzhen Special Economic Zones in October 2020, President Xi Jinping delivered an important speech, calling on us to keep pace with the time and deepen reform comprehensively. Forge ahead with pioneering efforts to open up to the outside world and effectively promote the development of Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, GBA. 2021 is the first year of the China's 45 year plan, which aims to start the overall construction of socialism modernization. The construction of Hong Kong, Guangdong, Macau, GBA is in the new historical starting point. Guangdong will be based on the new strategy, the new stage of development, carried out new development concepts, view a new development strategic pivot, and promote reform and opening up its greater bonus from a higher starting point. We will create more historical opportunities and broader development stage for foreign enterprises to invest and start their business in Guangdong. 
Guangdong is building to further strengthen communication and political cooperation with enterprises from all countries to achieve a win-win development and create a better future at a higher level. Guangdong will share the historical opportunities in the development of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau GBA. With all of you support and encourage enterprises from all over the world to participate in the development of the GBA. We will deepen cooperation in investment and trade, industrial development, scientific and technological innovation in other areas, and create more highlights of cooperation and you more good results during the 14th prior year plan period. Guangdong will strive to create a market ties and internationalized business environment based on the rules of law, further improve the policies for foreign investment, continuously improve investment facilitation, reduce enterprises, institutional trading cost, strengthen the protection of intellectual property rights. We will continue to improve the platforms and mechanisms such as direct communication with multinational corporations, enterprises, the Guangdong Annual Meeting for Multinational Enterprises and the Multinational Company CEO Roundtable, so as to provide stronger support and better services for the enterprises. As we all know, Hong Kong is an international center of finance, shipping, and trade. It has the unique advantages of one country's two systems and rely on the mainland to open it up to the outside world. It is upon connecting both domestic and international markets as a super link between the great, Greater Bay Area and the rest of the world. In the context of China's new development pattern, where domestic and international circulations reinforces each other. Guangdong and Hong Kong will join hands to welcome business communities from all over the world to take Hong Kong as a bridgehead, super link, to invest and start up their business in the mainland of the GBA through Hong Kong's platform and to become a participant in the domestic circle. I hope that the enterprises will take this event as an opportunity to further enhance your understanding of GBA. Choose Guangdong, invest in Guangdong, and take your roots in Guangdong with confidence. Seize the opportunities and build on the momentum and achieve better development through win-win cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, the event in Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau GBA has brought prospects for development. We sincerely welcome all guests and friends to visit Guangdong and the GBA to experience the splendor of the GBA and create a new glory of cooperation and development. In conclusion, I wish this conference a complete success and I wish you all good health, prosperity, happiness and all the best. Thank you. So now may I invite our panelists to be seated on the stage. Now, we are delighted to have with us today representatives from three very different business sectors all of whom have kindly agreed to, agreed it to share with us their secrets as to how best to set up successfully in the GBA. Now, before we begin, okay, another reminder from you, from, from me, please tap your questions into the Q&A box on your control panel as we will shortly move on to the Q&A section afterwards. Now, let us first turn to Mr. Joe Wang of Trico, Hong Kong. As the CEO of the firm's Hong Kong-based headquarter, he is going to share with us how, from his vantage point, companies can take full advantage of the many growth opportunities offered by the GBA, while at the same time overcoming possible challenges in the process. Joe, over to you, please. Thank you. Thank you. So good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Joe Wan. I'm a CEO of Trico Hong Kong, uh, a local specialized uh, professional service company. 
Well, first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the launch of the GoGBA app. I think it's a great initiative to help SMEs, to help enterprises to get into the GBA. Now, it's not difficult to see the, I guess, the, uh, the benefits of the market. The rules and regulations laid down, you know, the, the people are there, but it's how to get in there that it's a nitty-gritty part of being successful enterprise going in. So in my following presentation, or, or, or my short uh, introduction, I'll first introduce you what Tricor is, um, how we can help uh, in the process of us assisting our clients, and uh, some of the opportunities that we see in the GBA, and more particularly, what are the challenges that we see in setting up in the GBA. So by way of a quick introduction, uh, Tricor was founded in the year 2000 uh, by Bank of East Asia. And through the past 20 years, we've grown to be undoubtedly the, the, the largest professional services in our field in Asia. Uh, in Hong Kong, we have about 650 people. In the region, we have about 2,800. Uh, and in China itself, uh, we have over 1,000 uh, people, including Hong Kong. Uh, we are the largest uh, IPO ship registry provider in the market. So we help you from your startup by incorporating the company, by processing your payrolls, and all the way when your company got listed in Hong Kong. So what makes us stand out? Of course, the, the history, uh, the people, and, and, and the breadth of our solutions is how we differentiate ourselves with our competitors. Uh, we, we, we have, as, as I said briefly, um, uh, we have over 700 people in Hong Kong, all dedicated uh, in our specialized fields. And our track record speaks for ourselves as well. Um, today, there are about 2,500 listed companies in Hong Kong. Uh, more than 60% of those companies chose to work the Tricor. Now, um, I'll be repeating myself again on, on, on why GBA is such a great idea. Uh, of course, uh, I'll just briefly go through that with the people, uh, with the wealth, with the size, and more importantly, with the boom of the economy that we see uh, in that region in the next uh, decade, which is unparalleled anywhere in the world. Taking into account Tokyo or, or New York or San Francisco, is GBA where the growth lies. Now, just an interesting uh, research my team has done, like we were thinking of how to present GBA to our clients, uh, to our European clients, to our US clients. And if you count all these 11 cities together, you're essentially putting all the major cities in the world together in one hub, right? Guangzhou is the size of Los Angeles. Chongqing is the size, uh, Jiaoxing is the size of Berlin, right? Foshan is the size of Chicago, right? So it's everywhere, the best cities in the world, now all in a hub called the Greater Bay Area. And this draws a lot of goodwill and, and, and interest from our, from our friends out there in New York or Europe or anywhere in the world. Now, Opportunities are evident, right? Um, the, the, it's a large market. Uh, the central government has laid down the adequate policy support. Uh, but Hong Kong, as a, with our historical background, acts as a super connector uh, from outside of China into the GBA. But how? We know that we have the best lawyers in Hong Kong. We're the best TDC in the world. We have the best finance a system here in Hong Kong. It's always cheaper and easier to get access to capital uh, than compared to in the mainland. These are all the good things of, of how Hong Kong can help you get into GBA. But more importantly is, is during the process of us advising our clients of how to get in there, there are more challenges. We can see the opportunities, it's easy. But the challenges are sometimes difficult to grasp when you're out there. And I'll name four, right? Uh, Yes, GBA is it's, it's 11 cities. And more importantly, there, there are three jurisdictions. There's Hong Kong, Macau, and Guangdong. And we have very different tax rules. We have very different uh, regulations. And these are particularly difficult for small and medium enterprises to grasp, especially when they don't have a scale to do the compliance work. Talent, resource sourcing, and retention is also difficult. In a booming economy, talent come and go easier. And in China, there are lots of very complicated, um, what do you call it, uh, employment rules that are sometimes not intuitive. And this is where working with a tr trusted partner can help you um, uh, in this regard. And finally, the, in the lack of familiarity with local regulations, it's, it's again an area where Trico seek to help so you can focus on your expansion. 
be it you know like our fellow fellow speakers uh, in you know in making home manufacturing goods in China and what else, leave that hassle of working through the myriad of different regulations to us, and you have a uh, have a better instep into that great market. So finally, right, um, I would uh, before I pass on to my fellow speakers, uh, Trico, we believe that we together with you we go far. We're not there to interfere with your business, but we're there to help you cut out all the uh, headaches when you're dealing with the business. So, so thank you. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. And uh, I think that um, if you're going, to, you're going into business, it always pays to think big. And so it is with Ocker, a company that ventured into, into the Hong Kong, and by extension, the mainland markets just a few years ago. Utilizing Canadian food waste technology, its state aim has been to take FA garbage truck hauling food waste off the road. Here to outline how they are turning such a bold vision into a commercial reality is Dr. Dawn Shui, the company's Pacific Ring general manager. Dr. Shui, please. Hey, thank you, Louis. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's my honor to share with you uh, this uh, INT, an innovation and technology company from, uh, originated from Toronto, Canada, like uh, in our journey uh, in Asia, Pacific Rim, and mainland China. So uh, thank you very much. It's totally different perspective from what Joe has shared with you, like uh, which I'm going to share with you in the next 10 minutes. So I'll take your concentration, like uh, realign a little bit. Um, so like uh, what we are doing uh, at Orker is that like this is a waste management solution company and we deal with like all sorts of uh, waste solution. And Orker within our Minus Global Group deal with food waste treatment. It is a quite a revolutionary way to treat food waste. Well, as, my, as for myself, like, uh, I'm truly honored to go back to the TDC family to share with you like, my story, my journey. My, my experience with TDC has gone back since uh, year 2000, where like, TDC has helped me like, uh, and the corporations and the services like, uh, to proceed journey from journey. I have spent um, a decade at MTL like, uh, taking our, our world-class railway service to international markets, and then I moved forward uh, to the science park, and then I land myself at this INT um, uh, solution company. We believe that this could be a solution, and we really rely on the TTC help like, uh, to take us through further in our journey. Now, but why do we have to deal with food waste? I mean, like uh, at the floor, or uh, I'll have to ask like the virtual audience. Do you know, like say for instance, in a city like Hong Kong, how much food waste we generated a day? 3,000 tons. Wow. Do you know what it, this means? Like in a year, it means like 1 million tons. And it means, simple, 70,000 number of double-decker buses of food waste that we generated. And, and this is even growing. If we look into China between 2014 and 18, China as a country has generated among, among 1.08 trillion tons of food waste. And the, 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 the amount is even growing at 5% year on year. Now, uh, since um, back then at the 13 uh, five-year plan, uh, the entire China has decided that I have to pick um, pilot countries to uh, try out any form of food waste treatment solutions so that like, uh, we will be able to tackle um, uh, the problem. So at the 14 five-year plan, uh, which is announced like, since last year, uh, 46 countries has gone to pilot it like any form of food waste solution, food waste treatment solution. And there are many folks like, um, to, to deal with it. Uh, um, as, a, as a general background, like um, uh, from dumping and then to incineration, mm -hmm. and then moving on to say like anaerobic digestion, which Hong Kong has picked. Now the global trend has moved forward to a hyperlocal aerobic digestion way of treatment, which will refer to this picture. This is what we do. In our dream, in our vision is that we hope the world will have no more garbage trucks the way forward. Whenever the food waste is produced, that's the time you measure and that's the time you treat the food waste. And this is a solution like quite revolutionary when you hear of it, 
But in fact, like our friends in Brazil, like um, in, in, in Mexico, in North America, in Australia, and lately in Singapore and China has already moved forward to this solution. So this is something which is very, very close to like, uh, our, our, our life because this is your money. Like uh, the more food waste you waste, the more uh, like, uh, cost efficient your facilities will be. If we look into this like um, uh, INT uh, technology trend, like uh, in the latest decade, actually like from from dumping, incineration, all of a sudden in the last ten years, like uh, technology search like uh, to many many different folk, and we tag on to the benefit of the technology growth, like to deal with this city problem. Uh, the reason why aerobic uh, food waste treatment, like uh, it's a good way to do, is because we will take care of um, the data problem, you measure, you measure like uh, how much food waste, who, when and where you dump the food waste. And then like, it gives us a lot of cost benefit and health benefit. And that's why, especially during COVID time in the past 18 months, we have received a growing number of inquiries from China. And, and that's how like, uh, we are tackling ourselves, like uh, how do we like, uh, make this a, a success? Like last year, year uh, 2020, the founder of Orca has decided to buy back all the distributorship like, uh, to uh, Miners Global, and they have picked Hong Kong as the hub. Hong Kong does not offer a very ideal showcase market for the Orca uh, uh, technology because of blah, blah, blah reasons. I, I don't want to explain it because like, our landscape is small and, and, and then et cetera, et cetera. However, Hong Kong still have like, various advantage to allow us to go further. Why? You will care because it links to the money. Ochre is a technology uh, uh, very simple to use. It only uses oxygen, water, microorganism, enzymes to, to convert any solid form of food waste into liquid. And then it goes to the municipal wastewater treatment facility, which every building has, and go to the central location. Central location of a city has the best way to treat uh, food waste and to recycle, segregate it. And that's why like, um, uh, it gives a lot of efficiency. It takes away the, uh, the need to uh, temporary store storing uh, the food waste. Like sometimes like, uh, in heated climate like Hong Kong, you really have to air condition your food waste. It takes away haulage, it takes away manpower, it takes away the need of building a uh, refuse transfer station intermediary and like all this unnecessary trip of garbage truck trips from one point to another point. Now, if we look into like the benefit like uh, of the technology, it is 65% better than landfill, 25% better than anaerobic digestion, which Hong Kong is advocating. Like in terms of like um, the contribution uh, to um, uh, greenhouse gas, uh, so uh, the environmental uh, impact is very very positive. In terms of like uh, the creation of human toxic toxicity. Like uh, uh, the aerobic digestion is 35% better than in vessel composting and 10% better than uh, windrow composting, not counting the odor, the hygiene problem that they are creating. Like, ask yourself, like, how many of the facilities would, would give you the feel to compost the materials segregated? Like, this is just like, very difficult for um, uh, operation. And, and that's why we have done this recent study in Hong Kong using our customer's data very recently, March 2021. It shows that any facilities that invested in uh, aerobic digestion actually compared to um, uh, uh, windrow composting, it is only 45%. And when it compares to anaerobic digestion, which like um, some government is advocating, aerobic digestion like occur is only 7% of the investment significant saving. And, and that's why like, uh, we don't call the customers, the customer call us. I mean, last, last October in Chengdu, uh, the government has called for a municipal workshop to call upon, hey guys, like uh, NDRC, uh, Fa Gai Wei, uh, needs us to like, uh, um, uh, 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 promote uh, or reinvent like, the way we treat food waste. And then like, there is a municipality workshop to deal with uh, 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 waste like that call by the city government. And then luckily, like uh, they have uh, showcased Temple House Y Group like uh, as one of the uh, example. And then we did, not, we did not call them. 
they call us. And then like Temple House was like showing to the municipal municipality, like this is the, um, uh, the device that we are doing. And the government has, uh, has concluded that, hey guys, this looks like magic to me. And, and this is like how like we, we will go into like the story why we need TDC. I mean, years back, my seniors at all the corporations, I like, always say that like Hong Kong is the gateway to China, a big market. And then it used to be that like um, uh, uh, we are the showcase, and then like we come, we help them do the compliance, and then we help them accredit it. But things change. Like what Joe has uh, said like earlier, like today, like uh, we are the gateway, but this is the access to the market, exactly like what Joe has said. Like uh, people in China in the market, they do not need to look for Hong Kong as a showcase. They are the showcase, but they need us and we need TDC to help us move into um, um, uh, the China market, to so speak with them, the dialogue, and that's why oh, hey guys, like uh, everything aligns and then we thank God that like um, uh, TDC has invited Orca. Like we are not sharing our success in China. We are far from being successful. We are just like a 10 year company, but we are blessed that like uh, there's something called like the Gold GBA, which um, uh, coincidentally, we are having a project in Huizhou and it matches with like your analogy that like Toronto, Huizhou, like how we match together. I mean like everything like uh, uh, aligns that like uh, we still firmly believe that Hong Kong has our clear advantage. And this is like how uh, we want Hong Kong to create, to help us create access to all this market. So like um, uh, I, I am overly excited like uh, a lot of time, but trust me, this is a way that helps a lot of facility to move further, healthier, better. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Shui. Just very inspiring here. presentation, and especially it's uh, uh, very timely as uh, the whole world is looking for uh, sustainable recovery post-COVID-19. So and now, on to our final speaker before the panel discussion, Mr. J.V. Santos, Managing Director Asia of Mondio. Drawing on his own experience working for a high-profile Brazilian brand that has long been renowned for the quality of its knives and kitchenware, today he is going to outline how the first company in Latin America ever to manufacture stainless steel cutlery is looking to carve itself a niche in the GBA market. Mm. So, Javi, please take the floor. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you uh, to the opportunity to uh, discuss a little bit with you. Uh, I, I would say that uh, basically we are aligned in what uh, our previous uh, presenter said. Mundial is a company founded in Brazil in 1896. We start producing so lamp rings and uh, the company uh, is a 100% Brazilian company founded by the chairman and a gun, Italian guy. We produce a diversified uh, numbers of products with uh, a hub here in Hong Kong, our subsidiary in Hong Kong, USA, Argentina, Uruguay, and the head office in Brazil. This is one of our factories in Brazil, in Porto Alegre, and uh, we have one in Sao Paulo. Why to come to Hong Kong? So uh, after, after we start producing so many products, uh, we decide that uh, we are keeping the production in Brazil for the items we really are competitive. And so our decision was to come to Hong Kong 20 years ago, searching for products or searching for factories. And we see in Hong Kong the gate to approach the market in China, not only to search, but to also approach the market, mainly because a company in the other side of the world, how to understand the culture of the Asian people, not only in China, but uh, all around. In spite of being the export business for more than 70 years, we said, well, we have to have a place which offer us a perfect condition that uh, we can establish our business and to approach the Asian market as a total. So 
we see our brands not only produce here in Hong Kong, but in our factories in Brazil as hub to bring the goods from Brazil to Hong Kong and be much more competitive in terms of delivery, logistic, uh, 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 to distribute around Asia. To give you an idea, if we ship goods, for example, to Australia from Brazil, we will take more or less 65 days. If I have these goods here in Hong Kong, I can ship to Australia in 10 days. So nowadays, with the all evolution, the world is living uh, as our presidents used to say, we're not the biggest that we win, but the quickest. Mm. So people do not want to wait anymore. So why, why to choose Hong Kong with our beauty care, uh, houseware, uh, scissors, motors, pumps, since we have so many brands here? First, we believe Hong Kong uh, for the geographical location, there's no place in Asia with so many benefits like Hong Kong today. I can be in Australia in 10 days, in Japan, Singapore, even Middle East. So strategic position to distribute our goods, we believe Hong Kong is the place. Not only Hong Kong, but the, the Great Bay Area. We have offices in Guangzhou and, and this, I believe, will facilitate even more our approach to the China market, which I would say every company in the world would like to be. So uh, another point uh, is the bureaucratic process. To bring goods in and out in Hong Kong, the city offers some conditions that nowhere in the world I would say we have. I can bring goods from Brazil from my factory, just keep here in a hub in Hong Kong, and redistribute that without basically any tax. So if I try to make this in Singapore, or Japan, Korea, or even in Dubai, I guarantee to you all that the cost will be much higher than we have here in Hong Kong. Uh, also, uh, talking about importance, but the possibility to establish a plan that a medium long term because we have some stability. I can say to you that I live in Hong Kong for now six years, and basically we have the same uh, uh, exchange rate, the same conditions, the same taxes, no change, even though we have some changes in politics or COVID and everything, we can, we can plan ahead, uh, 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 planning our budget, planning our lunches, planning what we want to be. The financial sector, I talked with Patrick, also offer us uh, some facilities that nowhere in the world you can have. I mean, banks and financial departments are prepared to import exports and, and to uh, uh, finance or give us some credit lines to expand the business and, and try to uh, 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 help the companies here. The clear rules and simplicity of tax process, what I put here in the market, uh, uh, it's something that will help all the companies or foreign companies to come to uh, Hong Kong and, and establish here. And the proximity, not only for export, but also for the suppliers. Our company today buy goods from Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, China is one of the main, and we bring everything to Hong Kong. No bureaucracy, very clear process, taxes we know. So one of the reasons I believe uh, uh, the Great Bay Area will be a very good place around the world and I don't believe any changes. Companies uh, will, will consider to come here and to keep establishing business here. And of course, I fully agree with Patrick and that uh, the Great Bay Area will be a tremendous uh, portal to approach the China market. Many for a company like us, uh, coming back to the beginning, that have no idea about culture. We have to learn a, a lot. 
we have been learning a lot. But the main thing, and we will try to offer, is uh, high quality goods with uh, fair price and as simple as possible. And I being uh, very, very clear, I will say that uh, the good thing that brought us to Hong Kong was the simplicity of the whole process. Basically, uh, is there any, any question? Just let her know. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Obrigado. So, okay. I think it's now time to open up the panel to your questions. So just in case you have not yet submitted one, please do as soon as possible using the Q&A function on your control panel. Now, so it seems that uh, I have got some questions uh, in hand for our speakers. Uh, these questions are quite interesting. Mm. So uh, may I uh, proceed them one by one to each of you? So the first question is a pretty, uh, 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 how to say, it's pretty, uh, uh, intriguing. So uh, they, the uh, inquirer would like to ask each of you to highlight one thing that you think is vital for overseas companies looking to find success in the GBA. So may I first proceed these uh, questions uh, to Joe? Well, one thing is difficult to, to, to pinpoint. It's, you need a lot of things to be successful in your business. But if you want me to choose single out one, uh, challenges uh, or hurdles for success is the difficulty to familiarize different local rules and regulations even in 11 different cities in the GBA area. It's so different that it takes you know, more than the common sense to get through those. So I say um, you have the best product, you have the best service, but you also need somebody to help you to navigate through that maze of different regulations. That will be the key to your success. So what will be your tips for them? Come to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much, Joe. So that, let me turn to Dawn, Dr. Shui. So how about you from the sustainability business uh, points of view? Wow, um, gigantic question. Uh, I think um, GBA is one of the cluster, but they are not the only cluster. Uh, they are also competing with other cluster within mainland China, say the Sichuan cluster, uh, the Zhejiang, uh, Great uh, Hangzhou cluster, Beijing Tianjin cluster. So, like, uh, they will come to companies like us asking for opportunities to be the showcase. So, for us to win their heart and to be successful, like, uh, if one word, right? One word is to create presence. And I don't think COVID, the impact, will abruptly end, and we are facing a new future which we do not know. That's why in order for companies like us, which are young and new, we need to create a presence so that the GBA area will create a showcase to win over other uh, cluster or other cluster will go through GBA to the outside world to find opportunities is to create presence. So how do we interpret this word presence? Virtual combinations of physical, like, uh, like what you are actually doing and you offer help to us. Like, I think we benefit from you. We are asking for help and you are providing the answer. Mm. Okay, thank you, Dr. Shui. Just a follow-up question for myself. So are we green or not green enough to take the lead to be the showcase in the GBA? Green or green. G -R or not green. Not green. So maybe we are just not so unsustainable that uh, we have a lot to do that we can showcase to the rest of the GBA. Or we are so green, so ahead of uh, the whole region that uh, we can be the role model for the rest of the GBA. Green as environmental green, yes. right? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Louis, for this uh, question. You, you, you challenge us. Like, um, sustainability uh, doesn't re only relate to environment. Sustainability also involves with the social growth and the economic growth. So like, uh, it's the triangulization that makes success. So like, uh, of course, like, uh, creating presence like, uh, in a green way needs to tackle like, uh, the concurrent benefit, how the social community could grow and how the economy 
could benefit. And like, um, that's why like, I think like, uh, you are not choosing between option A or B. You are giving us the option. This is the way that we have to move forward. So like my answer to you is green, yes, you are. Because you are generating energy, you are generating momentum, so that we can concurrently benefit from the entire ecosystem that like, uh, we are all in. Mm. Okay, thank you, thank you, Dr. Shui. So Jerry, how about you? Okay, do you have uh, one or two things to share with us that you think matters the most? You know, uh, uh, we, we could not forget that uh, Hong Kong and China and the world has a history. I mean, uh, I, I saw uh, everybody saying, and I agree with you, that uh, we need China, and China need the Great Bay Area. But at the same time, I would say that the experience acquired by Hong Kong around the world put us in advance comparing to other places. You know, we, we, we already deal with the straight business uh, for a long time, long, long time. So that's uh, it's all I have to aggregate. Of course, if you have the, the law and if you have the environment all put in the basket, you cannot look simply for one vision or one angle. But what I believe make Hong Kong uh, is extremely strategic advanced is that we have a relation already for years. And this experience you cannot gain simply in one or two years. That's what I'm saying. Okay, thank you, Jeffy. Thank you for your views. Uh, another question from the floor is, uh, uh, since uh, many of you have, uh, actually all of you have already have success, uh, successful business in the GBA, including Hong Kong, so how do you see your GBA strategy, okay, will further on flow, okay, in the future, okay, with or without regard to the pandemic that we are still fighting against. Sure. So, if I may start, um, at, at Tricor, I mentioned a bit earlier, we have about a thousand people in, in the Greater China area. Uh, we do have an offices uh, in, in the Great Bay area itself in Shenzhen, Guangzhou, Hong Kong, and Macau. And even during this pandemic, uh, the board and myself are thinking very hard on, on how to increase our presence uh, in, in the area. Because as a service company, we go where the capital flows, we go where the business flows, and indeed, the pandemic slows things down a bit, but it's not stopping our thinking of further expanding into the likes of Chaoqing, Zhongshan, and those areas. Dongguan probably will be our next, next, next stop. Thank you. I take uh, um, a slightly different perspective, though. Like, um, Orker is very new uh, in GBA, and we have just only started our pilot project uh, with, um, uh, we, we have not even started. Uh, we, we are working, we are preparing for our pilot uh, with Huizhou. Mm. And then like uh, that being uh, um, a hub, and then we are also talking to Guangzhou and Shenzhen. So like uh, everything is like uh, very, very uh, uh, fresh. Now, like, um, people could be um, mistakenly thinking that we are a, um, a science and technology company. Uh, uh, so it will make things like very difficult, like uh, if you take that mindset, oh, you have to go to that university, you have to go to that university in order to, or institute in order to find partnership. But no, in fact, like uh, all like science and technology company will only find success in commercialization and we are commercialized already. So like uh, we are doing already like one step forward, like in the piloting schemes, like uh, in these GBA cities. So like uh, I'm seeing like uh, all these, like, I, I keep on saying the word ecosystem, maybe like of my science and tech background, but the ecosystem is not from within the science part. The ecosystem lives together in the community. And, and I think like uh, what, what TDC has a role to play in the entire ecosystem is that you facilitate the realization of like uh, the pilot, the showcase within the GBA cities for the whole mainland China market. How about you, Jerry? You know, uh, if so I from, understood your question. From your uh, uh, kitchenware knives and uh, very interesting and very beautiful uh, fingernail polish and water palm. So what are you going to add you know, to your uh, uh, GBA portfolio? Yeah, if, if you... Uh, uh, think about products again, you have to understand the culture. 
uh, even though talking about nail polish that you mentioned, I would say that the main of the uh, women, the Chinese or Asian women, will prefer the gel thing. Uh, just uh, for keeping this for 20 years or 20 days or do not have to go to the salon every day. I would say that uh, our brand do not produce gel, but the, the women in Brazil uh, probably will go to the salon every week or will make the nails at home. And when you deal with the culture of the women, this is the most difficult thing to do. Uh, for example, I could say that our nail polishing for the women, not the woman, the, the man's here, but uh, it will drive for in around one minute and 30 seconds. And when you say that to, to a, a woman here, say, no, this is, is impossible. You will not die, and, and you can make your nails at home. You say, no, I don't use to do it. Or sometimes I even uh, uh, paint my nails. But we have also makeup. So again, coming, you have to understand the culture. If we go to our knives, for example, I can present we have 76 uh, models of knives. But if you look in the market around here or go, probably you'll find just five or five six models that the Chinese is, is, is used to. Mm. But coming again for the, uh, a question at the beginning, if you say, well, the COVID thing uh, just uh, put on hold and slow down a little bit the, the speed. But I don't think any change will happen in the future. I mean, the GBA will, will continue with the plan and, and, and it's driven to be uh, what, what is planning to be. Uh, what we can do is to uh, try as much as we can to make it happen. That's our, our uh, I would say, our challenge here. You know, even we discuss what we can do, what we cannot do, but if we all think about that uh, we can make it happen, I'm sure we will make it happen. It's just a, a, an understanding what all of this is offering us. And, and I, do, I do believe the companies will stay here and, and will join the project. Okay, thank you, Jeffrey. So uh, this question is, uh, again, uh, similar questions, but uh, this one is uh, for Joe. So uh, what do you see are the major challenges when expanding your business into the GBA, and how did you tackle them? So, so for me at Tricor, we are a services company. So my number one asset, it will be my people on the ground. And I said a bit earlier uh, uh, that human talent sourcing is very, very competitive in China. So when I expand into the Greater Bay Area, I do see myself um, in, in my business uh, recruiting and, 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 and retaining the right talent to be the most difficult. So, it's a hybrid of strategies, right? We, we go to the local universities for partnerships, we do the right advertisements, and more importantly, we offer uh, the candidates a, a, a good career journey. And hence, that's how we tackle those, um, those challenges when we try core expand into China. And we continue to see that, right? As China moved from a manufacturing into a service company, in the service country, then the, the, the fight for talent is gonna be, be more keen and more fierce. And I do see that, uh, uh, continuing to be a problem uh, during our expansion into the Greater Bay area. Thank you, thank you, Joe. So this question for Dr. Shui. So you mentioned about uh, you're bringing over the Canadian food waste technology to the GBA, to Hong Kong, and the rest of Asia. So uh, other than uh, the Canadian uh, uh, invention, are you doing any crossover with uh, your counterparts here in the GBA to uh, facilitate better localization of the solutions? Please, my answer is yes. I have me and my colleague like uh, on the floor. Like uh, we welcome all sort of collaboration. I mean, again, like Ocker is one brand within the Minus Global Group, and then we are at a very rapid pace of um, upstream and downstream, like um, uh, buy, buying and acquisition. I mean, like uh, I'll be very, very honest. Yes, we are buying companies and we are partnering like uh, companies. Like uh, instead, like uh, we would be seeing the entire waste treatment solution market revolutionized like uh, in the next decade really fast it's so much faster than like you will ever imagine like uh, it's not just on the charging that any government will be charging your pocket 
it is like a, a mindset that like once you create any waste, you have to deal with it because the planet Earth can no longer take your waste. That's the mindset. And, and that's why, like, um, uh, the reason why, again, like, uh, why our founder and the CEO of the group, like, still pick Hong Kong as the hub. Like, there is this, like, uh, advantage that we collaborate, like, uh, with the many potential institutes in academia. I'm not saying that earlier that, like, uh, working with the academia, like, uh, is not good. It is very good. It's just that, like, uh, we are so greedy. We want to be, like, uh, tapping our hands um, longer and uh, to work with like any partners. I mean, China has a lot of magic. And then like uh, we are seeing uh, uh, Ocker or Minus Global have a very clear potential to partner like uh, with our many friends, like within the China mainland, like uh, to, 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 revolu to revolutionize uh, the solution even further. Mm. Thank you very much, Dr. Sheng, and we look very much forward to welcoming your R&D team setting up here in Hong Kong. So, Jeffy, so this question is for you uh, from the merchandise trading perspective. So, uh, talking about the pandemic, uh, which has, uh, has uh, turned uh, the global supply chains upside down. So, uh, with regard to your operations in the GBA, how far you are being impacted and, and how well you are able to turn the lemons into a lemonade? Louis, you know, again, uh, uh, we, we, we see the COVID as uh, 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 slow the, the, the process as a total. I believe this is temporary. The COVID will, will finish. One day will finish. Of course, it affects the business as a total, mainly for imports and exports. We are facing now problems with the freight rates uh, that uh, double or triple the prices because, uh, but uh, we still believe that uh, 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 one of our decisions to have a hub here was a good decision because uh, we could work with the stocks we have here uh, and, and kind of don't, don't uh, uh, depend as much of uh, uh, exports from Brazil. We can continue supplying our customers in Asia from Hong Kong. So the COVID, of course, affect not only Mundial, affect uh, everybody here. I mean, you can see the prices in the supermarket, you can see the prices, uh, what else, you know? Uh, but this is a thing that uh, will come to the end. And, and I hope, I hope we uh, will live more, maybe, four or six months with this, and this life will come back to the normal. Yeah, that, thank you. That's what I'm, we are foreseeing. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's also uh, pretty relieving to see that uh, Brazil has uh, uh, already kickstarted. The situation in Brazil is terrible. I mean, uh, 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 the people different from here, I would say, if I'm just making a part, uh, people did not believe how uh, uh, how harmful the COVID was. And now we are paying the price not to believe at the beginning. That, simply like that. Uh, Thank you, Jeffrey. But it's also encouraging to see that uh, the vaccination program has kickstarted well in Brazil and, and your country is about to is start, have, has already started the, pro the production of homegrown vaccines yes. okay, as well. Thank you very much, Jeffrey, again. So as it seems we have covered all the questions that we have time for, it's just left to me to thank our eminent panel members, Joe, Dr. Shui, and Jevi, for their time today and for delivering a section that was as inspiring as it was topical. Much appreciate, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, our sharing section today is coming to an end. I would like to thank everyone who joined us today, including our distinguished speakers, Dr. Lau, Mr. Chen, and eminent uh, panelists, Joe, Dr. Shui, and Jeffrey. I hope you all found it as rewarding as I did, and I hope we get the opportunities to welcome you back soon. We would love to hear your thoughts on today's launch ceremony and the sharing section. So it would be very much appreciated if you could fill out a short survey via the QR code on the screen, and let us know what worked for you and what you would like to see in the future. 
And now, that's goodbye from me for this time around. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.